Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss regular expression. Regular expression is very, very commonly used in Perl and Python script project. And Perl and Python script offer very, very powerful, flexible, regular expression utilities. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to write a regular C++ regular expression program using Boost regular REGX libraries. Here on the Linux ter terminal, I have a very, very template of a C++ program. So first we define the line. And the second, we define the regular. We use the boost regx to define the pattern of the string. So the example we are going to use to write a regular expression program to validate is the pattern of string is the credit card number pattern. So for the credit card number pattern, the string should be have four numbers. And each number has four digitals. So we, if we define the pattern using regular expression, we have to define here. So using the double slash slash D, it means the digital. And because it's a four, we can use the curling bracket and type of four. And using the bracket, so this is going to be for the credit card number, this pattern could be repeated four times. So, and we also know between this pattern of numbers and should going to be the hyphen O space. So to define this using the using the square bracket, use the hyphen O space there and put a question mark. So it means we are going to be either hyphen or space. So we only repeat this in the, each of these digitals. So this is the pattern we are going to try to find if a string match. And after that, we get input from the standard terminal uh, console and we read it into the line. And we are going to use a boost regx and score match function to check our line, the match, this pattern, or oh no, this uh, function needs three parameters. First is the line, which is the line we're going to check. And the second is the matches, which is uh, we define the boost size match, which is, is the container, like a vector, but it's a container of the matches. So for, for store the match result. Third one is the pattern, we pattern we pattern which we defined in this string. It's going to be the credit card string patterns. So we try if we find the match, we print out the match credit card numbers patterns. If not find, we just print this uh, not match credit card number uh, patterns. So because we say so you find a match, this is the container. So we're going to try to print what we pick up. So what's going to store in the, uh, save in this container? It's going to be stored what we define in the patterns. So each this bracket, it's this four digit number, is one element we're going to store. If find the match element, we're going to store in this match patterns. So in this case, we have one, two, three and four. So we're going to each four numbers and inside of this. So to print this, to verify this, we just write a simple loop. So like a normal container, iterator equal matches dot begin it not equal matches dot end 
and id plus plus so for each loop we're going to print out number we just print another number and the reference this iterator and uh, end of line so now let's uh, save this uh, program and uh, let's go to another terminal okay save this program we just uh, make clean and uh, we try to make this program compiling okay now we got it compiled so to test uh, our program working we try using echo a string one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four five six so this is going to be created the number and as the input of this program let's try to see so you can see we find the match create a color pattern and uh, the container the match result and they have one two three four five element and uh, each first element is the total string and the second fourth third fourth is the each number which we defined in our regular expression patterns so in this case if we not match so where state is not match credit card patterns and uh, for the regular expression we also have another use this is to validate the pattern of the string we can use this for the filter here's another program example we're going to use a regular expression this program example we're going to scan a email file and uh, try to filter all the rest of the lines just uh, keep finding the match subject line which subject line is we define start with the subject so what we do we still same thing we have a de declare a line a string object line we define our regular expression pattern which means uh, start subject dot and then we sometimes you know email you have a reply forward so you uh, some sir you try to get get rid of this one we just pick right of the subject line so if this is a subject start with subject we are going to pick up this pattern is pick up this is a title of the subject okay so and then we make a loop to scan each of the line of this and try to same thing and define the match container and if we find the match line which we just printed the match number two which is the match number one is zero is the whole line match number one is is this regular expression and we just print the rest of them match number two so let's uh, try to save this and uh, make a clean we make all so so to doing the test we create a text file which is uh, like uh, the email file we have a first email and this is a subject line and the rest of is a email content uh, with to from we have another email so let's we have a to and the from and uh, the booking confirmation subject and have all the details so we're going to scan this file and try to see if we catch this these two match subject line and uh, pick up the uh, the subject of this uh, email scanning 
So let's do this. So we cut this uh, text files and we're going to use this as the boost filter. So you can see we cut all this uh, this exit file, we just uh, got found a match of two line, subject line, and we pick up the subject and the print out. So this also can be verified if we use the Unix command, grab, and we say start with to say if we cut all this file, just pick grab all this uh, subject. So you can see with the two, this with inside this text file, we only have two lines start with subject. One is the Hui test regular exit filter message one, and the Hui test regular message one, and second one is the booking confirmation, booking confirmations. So this is an example that we can scan whole big file, just catch certain pattern which we defined line and for data processing. It's very useful for big data files messaging process. Regular expression is a, a very powerful, you know, flexible way to for of data processing and the boost REGX pro library provide a very powerful functionality and uh, make it uh, very easier to write a regular expression application in C++. <clears throat> Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.